Aldi Mac Wheel MX2 Electric Scooter Fix Story I bought this scooter for £15 of Facebook Marketplace. It came with a charger, but would not charge or turn on. It sounded like a battery fault, as that is the most likely cause. A battery fault will cause the BMS battery management system to disable charging or discharging, which is why it might not switch on or charge. Let's see. Will not turn on. The charger is rated at 40 to volts. Let's check to see if the charger is working. 40 to volts, it's working fine. Oh no, someone has been in here before, probably trying to fix it themselves. They have bent the plate. Mismatching screws. Charging port completely missing. Let's check the output voltage from the battery pack. 27 volts. That doesn't make sense. Either the battery is very discharged, or something else is going on. What is going on is, the BMS leaks a small amount of voltage through the MOSFETs. This voltage is not indicative of true pack voltage. This can cause confusion. This actually means the output is off, and that the BMS is in protection mode. Let's take the battery pack apart to measure cell voltages individually. This is the BMS. Its job is to protect the battery pack from cells overcharging or overdischarging. This plug has wires that run to each individual cell, so the BMS can measure individual cell voltages. This means we can measure the cell voltages by using these pins to check for faulty cells.
It was at this point I realized I had forgot to test each of the Tavarian cells. To do this I needed access to the main battery plus and minus. And there is the problem, a low voltage cell, the rest of the pack were 4.1 or more volts. This is why the BMS is in protection mode. This is the other end of the battery pack, it looks good. I want to try charge the low voltage cells to see if they will hold charge and not just self discharge over time. To charge them, I use a TP-4056 charging circuit with some crocodile clips. This will automatically charge 18,650 to their rated voltage of 4.2 volts. I bent up the nickel strip so I can clamp the crocodile leads onto it for charging. After leaving the cell to charge, not quite fully charged, I got impatient. Enough to test the scooter though. The BMS is now working and no longer in protection mode anymore. The output is on and outputting the full battery pack voltage. fixed and working. Now that it's confirmed working, I need to install some way of charging it as the previous owner removed the charging port. This is the existing wiring for the charging input. Luckily I had some random plugs that fit, so I used them. Modified charger plug.
Thanks for watching.